Auto Show TV's Car Care Tips, presented by Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. As always here on Auto Show TV, joined by Jim Melvin Jr. We're going to do a little bit of a sort of a mailbag email segment because we do get a lot of great comments about this part of our show, Jim. Uh, they really like your information. So the first one is about tire loudness. How come some tires just seem to be so loud? Well, John, the biggest issue with tire noise is generally in light truck tires. And it's real simple. The more aggressive the tread is, the more noise it's going to make. One of the things that happens is if you look at an aggressive tread in either a snow tire for a passenger car or an all-terrain tire for a light truck tire, these areas here are called high void areas. They have sound waves that go back and forth and therefore generates noise. So the more aggressive the tire, the more noise it's going to make. Okay. Now if you get your tires rotated and now, you know, because it might have worn a little bit unevenly, is that going to affect the noise? Yes, it will. Sometimes, you know, with an alignment issue, for example, you'll get an adverse wear pattern called feathering or scalloping. That in itself will give you a noise that'll sound like a wheel bearing or a helicopter. So yes, it will. And a lot of times it's exaggerated by a more aggressive tread pattern. Okay. Uh, a car comes with a 16-inch standard tire, but it also can come yeah, maybe on some models, or oh, you can get the 17-inch tire. I thought a tire came, you know, a car came with one size. No, the vast majority of these cars will have, you know, uh, performance packages where they'll have larger wheels. The overall diameter is generally exactly the same. For example, going from a 16-inch wheel to a 17-inch wheel, you'll just have more wheel and less tire. So you'll have a smaller sidewall in the tire, but the overall diameter is generally exactly the same. Which is the better ride? Or can you really answer that? Difficult question to answer. A lot of it's going to be predicated on speed ratings, for example, which make cars handle better at various speeds. As a rule of thumb, the, the higher the tire rim diameter, the more of a performance tire you're going to have is going to give you a little bit better handling in the car. Okay. Jim, another question that we got, generic tires, mongrel tires, no-name tires versus the well-known brand names, aren't all tires the same? Not necessarily, no. One of the things that happens is you've got several, three or four large manufacturers who will make a myriad of different tire lines. Generally what they will do is the flagship brand will generally be the best casing. And when I say casing, I'm talking about the actual tire without any tread on it. It's gonna be a truer casing, it's gonna ride better. As you go down the food chain of the various brands, the casings will not be of the, the same quality as the flagship brand. Jim, my last question is my own question, and I see retreads and shredded tires all over the highways. What's the cause of it? And I guess that means retreads are not very good. Well, John, I'll tell you, they've done studies on that, and the vast majority of those casings you see on the side of the highway are actually new tires. Now, New it, tires? Yes. What happens? The cause of it is loss of air pressure, and they just peel off the, off the, uh, the casing. Retreads are something that are really not made in passenger car situations. They're really just for medium trucks and tractor trailers, but I'll tell you, the quality of them is actually excellent. Well, there you go, some email and uh, questions from the mailbag action today on our feature with Jim Melvin. So if you have any other questions, come to Tire Pros, Jim Melvin Jr. Stop in to see us at Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle.